What's up YouTube? Uh, I am back with another install video. Um, this is not really a tutorial or how to but I'll do my best to um, show you how to do some of this. But as you can tell by the thumbnail I have a real nice set of 1320 um, black motor mount kit for the CRV. Um, these are the 75A and of course it comes with the uh, you know the brackets so you can get rid of that goofy round mount that's there this particular kit I picked up off of 1320's uh, eBay um, store and this particular kit was a open package blemish deal um, basically uh, for those of you that don't know what that means that means there is some sort of I won't say flaw or something like that because 1320's got their stuff together. Um, but there's blemishes, scratches, uh, maybe a little dent, ding, whatever, something like that. So that's the deal that I got. I got these on a blemish deal. And I'm going to show you the only blemishes on this entire kit. The only one. If you can see right there. You see them? A couple little spots. And this is the transmission mount. It's going to be sitting in there like that, completely under. I mean, you're not even going to see them blemishes at all. So I literally got a perfect set of motor mounts for this vehicle. Black because I really didn't need the flashy billet because, I mean, look at this thing. Look at the mud spackle everywhere. <laughs> Obviously, this is not a lowered CRV. This is a fully functional and take it anywhere I need to take it or want to take it, whatever, CRV. So it doesn't matter if I get these dirty. And besides, the, the real nice ones, the billet ones, I would probably want to keep them really clean because they are really nice looking. But these, don't have to worry about that. And like I said, these are the 75A. Um, very stiff compared to what's in here because the motor mount on the rear the transmission mount is completely shot it's like it the rubber is it's almost not even existing that one is not far behind it not too sure how that one is but i'm sure it's it's a piece of crap too so well that being said let's go ahead and start on these i think what i'm gonna do is start on the one on the firewall uh simply because i think uh you know the engine is only being held by the front two anyways at the moment and uh, that rear one might be the, that's the one to start with. <laughs> so here we are. I'm working on the rear mount first. Now, of course, took the intake tube off and the uh, purge, or the canister. Let's see. Get this big old hunk of piece of crap out of the way. And um, it does open up a good bit of room to get in there. Um, if this is anything like some of the other Hondas I've worked on, then that is a nut, and it's not welded solid, but I can't really tell, but I cannot budge that whatsoever. So that's kind of the reason why I was starting with trying to loosen it from this side, because obviously you can move this stuff to get to it, and you get a breaker bar in here and reef on it pretty decent. Um... But, I'm starting to think that that might actually be welded. But like I said, this is the first time doing uh, motor mounts in a CRV, B20, whatever. Um, so I really do not know. So this is kind of a first for me, but I, it's, it's pretty tight. But, the other three bolts, you got two in the back and then one in the center. I do have them broke loose, so they are ready to come right out. All I gotta do is get that center bolt out. And, uh... We'll be in business. All right, <clears throat> just like I thought I knew, that is a nut on this side. And <clears throat> they just have, I don't know if you can see them, but they they put little divots in them that kind of presses it against the, the T-bracket there pretty good instead of actually tacking them on. Totally forgot about that, but I knew there was something holding it quite tight, but uh, so, like I said, I, I had the, the three bolts loosened. They were quite easy to get to, just a regular 3H drive and a, uh, uh, I want to say it's like a two-foot extension. 
so they're pretty easy to get out so let's take a look at the the motor mount let's compare these two because you know some people might want to you know ask well you know what's so what's so much better about this particular motor mount than you know what i had you know because obviously this is pretty awesome well here's the uh here's the old one and you see it just you know it, it's just a bone stock factory whatever you know but uh it has this removable center piece here now, when you remove the centerpiece, this is like, see, this is kind of like a, um, uh, what do you want to call that triangle piece inside a rotary engine? So this totally supercharges your motor mounts, and what it does is it slows down your vehicle. So we can't be having all that. <laughs> this thing is stupid slow as it is. I mean, look at that. This, that's crazy, isn't it? But if you're watching this video, if you have motor mount issues, you know about this. This is common. I knew that mount was completely shot, and it certainly is. And we are putting this solid beauty on there. So, I don't think that's going to come out of there. All right. The first thing I'm going to do, obviously, I'm going to stick the new one in there. I'm not too sure how well you can see here. And it definitely fits a little tighter. Yep. So, I am a one-man camera crew here. So, I'm going to have to actually put the camera down and uh, use both hands to uh, get that sucker in there. And then we'll pick up as soon as I get it in there. Well, finally got that rear mount in. Uh, I'm not sure... You know how well you can you know see down in there you kind of can't but finally got it in there after I figured out the uh, this damn light um, I hate this light this is the worst damn work light ever uh, the bolts kit that comes with it's got three that are one size which I do believe is for the bracket for that side and then it has one odd bolt that's a small one well I didn't know it but that's the front bolt of that mount of the three so I literally spent over an hour trying to get this bolt in there and it, it wasn't it's not long enough and it couldn't get the thing to line up or I thought it wasn't lined up and here it was lined up the whole time so definitely the small bolt in here is the front bolt for back on the firewall there so I need a beer and I figure we'll tackle the transmission one next. After a little bit of struggling and finagling, um, I managed to get the transmission mount mount out. Now let's take a look at it. Um it's actually it, it's still kind of solid. It's it's cracked up a little bit here and there. It's not too bad, but uh, but I mean really that's you know that's kind of crappy though either way I mean I can't hold anything you know so uh, but a quick tutorial on how to get these mo this particular mount out so you got this bracket that sets in here all right so of course uh, let's see here and the mount sets in here just like that so what you got to do first is you have to unbolt this bracket. You got to get this bracket out and put your uh, put it in neutral. I do believe, and um, take the bracket out first so you can get to the this crazy bolt here. And really, it does make that bolt there a little bit easier to get to this one right down here. If not, you can get to it from underneath with just a regular. Um, you know just a regular opening wrench it takes a little while but once it gets loose enough you can get it with your fingers or whatever but uh and then to install the new one is uh you just simply you bolt the new one you gotta bolt the the mount up first and then the bracket so shouldn't be too bad so i'm gonna get to that 
and we'll cut to the next scene. Well, there you have it. Transmission mount is back in. Looking pretty good, looking nice and solid and strong. So, it's definitely kind of, I don't know, iffy doing this particular one because, you know, you got to uh, get the transmission angled right and everything, get the bolts and everything to line up. But uh, once you get that figured out, it, it goes pretty good. So, one on the firewall is done, transmission's done. Now it's time to do that one there. And hopefully that doesn't take too long and we'll be ready to take it for a test ride and see how it is. So for the driver's side mount, uh, if you still have your um, cruise control, you want to uh, pretty much take that out of there and get it out of the way so you can get to these other bolts because there's three bolts in this, this lower part of this mount. Um, so I went ahead and lifted the engine up a little bit from underneath and um, and of course this is how they came out. <laughs> Isn't that something? So you take the two bolts out and take the nut off of the bracket and it just simply comes off here and well you don't need it. Alrighty. Now there's three bolts holding that uh, particular mount in there. So we take them bolts out and if we look at the new one, you can see the new mount has, you know, three bolts, same place. So we'll put the bracket in, then we'll put the mount in and line everything up. Should be good to roll. <coughs> All right, everything's out all the way. So just take the bracket and stick it on down in there like that. And does it line up with the holes perfectly? Um, hmm. Nope. That may be kind of an issue, but we'll figure it out. So we'll get the bolts in there, get them things to line up. Drop this nice of a mount down in there, and we'll be golden. Well, there you have it. The uh, driver's side mount is in. Don't mind my little bracket. The bolts are um, rusty down there and they are absolutely not coming loose. So I had to bend it. So you got to bend that out of the way. You got to take this off there bend this out of the way to get that bolt in there. But, got it all in there and everything's tightened up. And the only thing left to do is I got to put my uh, cruise control back on there and uh, my charcoal canister and my intake pipe and that's pretty much it and clean up all my tools and take it for a ride hopefully that takes care of that issue which I know it's going to because I mean when I'm driving especially when I take off or reverse was worst I mean I, I could just feel the engine doing this and um, it was absolutely awful reverse was terrible in this thing so I figure this is going to uh, take care of the problem and that's pretty much it. I'm going to wrap everything up here and clean up all the tools and uh, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Um, maybe hit that subscribe button. I hope this helped you a little bit. I know it's not too much of a tutorial because it's really hard for me to work and hold the camera at the same time, but um, you know. We make do, and I, I hope I explained a couple of things in here um, to where people can understand them. So if you ever get into this situation and you got to do this, you should be good to roll. So with that being said, we'll see you guys in the next video.